So, uh, Lynn, the reason I, I, I'm going to tell you a little bit about why I'm calling, if that's okay. So, uh, I spent my whole life uh, investing in small businesses. It's sort of the backbone of who I am. And it's, uh, you know, I think as we've gone through all of this stuff with COVID, it's, it's really hurt a lot of local restaurants in a very bad way. And so, about a month ago, uh, I decided to put up a million dollars and, uh, and visit with different businesses around the country to find a way to solve two problems. The first problem is driving revenue through local restaurants that need the help. And the second problem is dealing with food insecurity in America, where there's particularly seniors who can't access a good meal because they're sick, they don't have the money or because of COVID. And so I wanted to try to solve two problems at the same time, driving revenue through my friends that own restaurants and hoping that those restaurants in turn would take that money and feed people. You're in Oxford, right? Well, we're not 10 miles south of Oxford, a little community called Taylor. Okay. And and uh, how is business these days? Well, it's not, not, not good. I mean, it's better than it was, but it's still, it's really not, uh, you know, we had a pretty good business here. We've been here a long time have a pretty good reputation. When this, when this all hit, you know, I was a little bit, uh, maybe a little arrogant. I, I really didn't think that it was going to uh, affect us like it, like it has. Yeah, well, and, but you know, it didn't take long for the, for the little bit of money the bank's gone. And, and it, it finally occurred to me that, you know, we were, we were, we were, we were in trouble. You do a lot of takeout business? To do takeout here, you have to, you know, we're in a little bitty community of 250 people. There's no easy way to get. What about delivery? What if we, what if we connected you with somebody that could do delivery? Well, we, people, the delivery people, they want to pick up around town up there. They don't, they, the delivery people don't want to drive out here, you know, the 10 miles. From the yes, sir. And we're a, and, and another thing is, is we're a, we're a catfish house. You know that's kind of our forte. Yes, sir. And and catfish is one of those things that doesn't travel well. You understand what I'm? You know? It's yes, sir. It gets soggy. it gets soggy. It gets soggy. It doesn't. It, it's just not like the best thing in the world to, to you know to haul for thirty minutes. Well, so uh, what happened was uh, I have a number of friends who, who heard about the program that I was creating. And my friend, Brett Young, who's a big country music superstar, heard about it. And he said, I got the perfect place. I got the perfect place. And I know the perfect man who deserves this more than anybody else. Because when, when everybody else is struggling, he's always willing to do something for somebody else. And... Uh, uh, and that's it. So Brett's joining us on the phone right now. I don't know if you could see him. What's going on, y'all? How, How are you doing? How are good you? you? I'm good. It's good to see you, too. I miss y'all. I miss Oxford. Uh, well, it's still here. We're still here. <laughs> so what we, what we want to do, do you have any ideas of what we're trying to solve? You know, there's a number of people within a 30-mile radius of your place that are struggling to get a meal. They're, 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 they're hungry. They don't know where to turn to. Nobody's helping them out. And if you look at the seniors in our communities, you know, I don't know who's helping them out right now. And so what we would like to do is we would like to buy 3,000 meals. Wow. And we want to figure out, we want to buy, Brett and I want to buy them from you. And we want to figure out how either people can come there and eat out in the parking lot, or we can figure out a way to get the food to them. But there's no way that we can have your catfish not warm people's hearts. And uh, uh, I have to imagine that the 3,000 meals would help the business a little. Well, absolutely. Yeah, it, it would be a, it'd be a shot in the arm for sure. Well, I wanted Brett to tell you why this restaurant is so important to him. And maybe he has some ideas as well. And the reason that, that y'all came to mind was because um, I'm, I'm a kid from Southern California. You can see I've got the Los Angeles Dodgers hat on. Um, and so when I was trying to pick a school uh, to go play baseball at, 
Um, I took a lot of visits. I was a, I was a big prospect uh, out of high school. And uh, the, the real selling point for me on my visit to Oxford was when they took me out to visit y'all uh, on that last Sunday of the weekend. And, yeah. and I had such a good experience there and the food was incredible and the hospitality was incredible. What you guys did was something so comforting and made the South feel like home to a California boy. And so um, with everything that was going on and, and, when, and when Marcus came to me, uh, it, it wasn't even a question. You all came to mind. And, and if, there, if there's any way to help when we know you're struggling uh, like everybody else through all of this, it was, it was y'all that we wanted to reach out to. I'm glad baseball didn't work out for you. <laughs> you know, God's plan is bigger than ours, that's for sure. Well, yeah, no, this sounds like a sounds like a very uh, inspiring program y'all thought up here. It, uh, Lynn, do you do you play? Do you sing and play any music? I I I'm, I try. <laughs> he does a pretty good job. Can we hear a little something? Would you mind? Amazing grace, how sweet the sound Saved a wretch like me I once was lost But now I'm found Was blind, but now I see Was grace that taught my heart to feed and grace those fears relieve. How precious is that grace of peace. Yeah, I first believe. Wow. <laughs> Woo! Lynn, Lynn, thank you so much. Um, from Brent and I for just being a rock in that community and keeping it alive. And we just want to help uh, other people in the community eat. And we thought you'd be a great partner of ours to help execute our plan for 3,000 meals for those people that are hungry. We can do that. We've we got a food truck. And well, we'll coordinate it with Sarah, right, Brett? That right. sounds beautiful. Lynn, I have one final question. Would you be open to having Brett open for you when you go on the concert tour? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd love that. That'd be cool. You let me know where to be and when, and I'll be there. But you, you got to, you got to dial it down a little bit because right now I'm concerned you're going to show me up. So, come on, come on down here. We'll play on the porch here one afternoon. That's <laughs> perfect. Thank you, guys. God bless, and we'll be in Thank touch. Thank you. Nice to meet you. So, so good to hear from y'all. God bless y'all. Be good.